Okay, here we go. Question number 14 from February, March 2017. Paper 2, variant 2. And we are asked here, we are given a, a grid. Oops, what's happened there? This isn't bad. We are given a grid. And we are asked, or we are told that there's a point A and B that are marked on the grid. We can see here, B is at 7.5 and A is at 2.8. And it tells us that the vector from B to C is minus 4, 0. And part A says, on the grid, plot the point C. So if I want to go from B to C, this tells me, this vector tells me I need to go four spaces to the left and no spaces up or down. Okay? The top number represents the horizontal displacement in the vector. And the bottom number represents the vertical displacement. So if it says negative 4, 0, it means you've got to go four spaces to the left. And if it says 0, and the, the four spaces to the left and 0 up and down. So from B, I have to move four spaces towards the left. Okay, four spaces towards the left. So I've got to go 1, 2, 3, 4. Okay, again, you should try to check and make sure that... Uh, when you move, okay, that the grid, the squares match with the numbers, the units. So one unit is one square, that's fine. So you're going to go four spaces back. One, two, three, four. So here is the point C. Okay, this is the point C. You can make it a bit neater. Okay, you can mark it with a cross or a dot and circle as you wish. That's the point C. Okay, plot the point C. Now, B says write A to C as a column vector. A to C as a column vector. So how would you get from A to C? We would get to A to C, from A to C. I started at A and I want to end up at C. I've got to go. The top number, rep remember, represents the horizontal displacement. So you've got to go one space to the right and one, two, three spaces down, vertically down. So you've got one negative 3. Okay, so A to C is 1, negative 3. 1 and negative 3. Right in the right space. Then it says, part C, it says, D to E is a vector that is perpendicular to BC, and the magnitude of D to E is equal to the magnitude of D B to C. Okay, so D to E is a vector that is perpendicular to B to C. So they're perpendicular to each other, means they're at right angles to each other. The magnitude of D to E is equal to the magnitude of B to C. It means they have the same length. Write down a possible column vector for D to E. Okay. So D to E is a vector that's perpendicular to BC. So if it's perpendicular to BC, okay, now if you can see BC here, BC is basically a horizontal line. Okay. And so B to C is minus 4, 0. It's a horizontal line. Okay, and D to E, as it says, okay, D to E is perpendicular. So D to E must be a vertical line. Okay, so possible vector for D to E, okay, it has to be vertical. So that means it doesn't move in the horizontal direction. So the top number must be zero. If it's a vertical vector. And its, its magnitude must be the same as B to C. Now, the magnitude of B to C is 4. It's four the length is 4. Magnitude means how long the line is. So, if the magnitude of D to E is, has to also be 4, so D to E has to, can be 0, 4. Or, if you want, D to E, another possible value. Or, it could be 0 and negative 4. That also has okay, a... Uh, magnitude of 4 and it's also vertical. Okay, 0, 4 means it's going up and 0, minus 4 means it's going down. So 0, 4 or 0, minus 4, either of them would be the correct answer. So I can put 0 and 4. And there we have the end of that question. Question number four, 14, A, B and C all done together. Thank you very much for listening.